Michigan had nearly 20 derogatory Native American mascots at schools across the state. But after this year, the Native American Heritage Fund says they have all been changed. CBS News Detroit's Elle Myers joins us now with a look at how that process went and what they want to tackle next. In some cases, schools here in Michigan may have had offensive mascots for decades. But after this year, officials with the Native American Heritage Fund tell me they will all have been changed. At the beginning, we had 15 offensive mascots, and we've been able to, as of this last funding cycle, eradicate all 15. Getting the schools on board wasn't difficult. Most of the time, we didn't have to reach out to those communities and say, you know, let's rethink this mascot. It was actually the student body for the majority of those. You know, I think they saw that it wasn't done right. That was the case for Plymouth High School. Actually, two separate groups of students came forward to our Board of Education and they brought proposals to consider the change of the mascot. They are now officially the Cobras, but Merritt tells me there was some pushback against changing the mascot from alumni. Not surprisingly, there's uh, a strong, there was strong support still for keeping the chief's name. And through our discussions, uh, the outreach board really urged us to listen to tribal leaders, to professional organizations. The district applied and was awarded a grant through the Native American Heritage Fund that covered more than half of the about $200,000 cost to change low logos, athletic apparel, and signage. Now that mascots have been changed, Rios tells me the focus of the fund will shift towards education, including Native American lessons in curriculum and tackling smaller projects across Michigan. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Myers, CBS News, Detroit.